Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another top 10 list. This time we're talking about the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. This may be a recurring video. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Let's get started. So let's first start off talking about the other video that I put out earlier this week with the video Todd McFarlane put out about his 2021, the year of Spawn, about the Super 7 putting out their video, Brian Flynn talking about more specs on the Thunder Tank and the pre-orders out there, about Hot Toys and their reveals from, from Star Wars Mandalorian and from Spider-Man, and also about Mezco Toys and their Krig release. So go out there and check out that video. That was a huge day this week. So let's get started talking about what did not make the top 10, but what was revealed this week. So we also had the Fan First Friday this week from Marvel Legends. And first off, they showed us the packaging for the Nova figure that will be a Walgreens exclusive. And he comes with his little buddy, Cubit, on his little flight stand, so that's pretty cool. And of course, Walgreens is going to be Cosmic this year. So they have Quasar. Also, come no pictures of his accessories or anything or what the package is going to look like yet, but he is going to be the third cosmic figure this year so far from Walgreens. And then they showed off the Civil Warrior from the video game. I think it's probably going to be in the Shang-Chi wave, according to what Rectangular's news showed off. But here is that Captain America in that armor. Also, they showed off the AI Tony Stark. And so here he is with his two different head sculpts. One of them, of course, is the AI look, and the other one has the helmet on. And this is just a repaint of that 80th anniversary Iron Man figure, it looks like. Next, they talked about Mr. Potato Head. Why'd they do that? Because they showed off the deluxe Modoc and the fact that you can hide the extra face sculpt and hands in his back. So he's like a Mr. Potato Head. Interesting. And then we jumped in and showed off the Scientist Supreme from AIM. And that got us rolled into the Bring on the Bad Guys wave. So we knew about a few of them, but they revealed the rest of the wave to us and put it on pre-order. So first off, as we said, here is the AIM Scientist Supreme. Got his uh, accessory there that he comes with, like a panel from a computer of some sort. And he comes with a Zeminu arm here, which we found out is the builder figure for this wave. Next, we have the Dormammu figure. And I want y'all to notice how red this face sculpt is. Not really sure what I feel about that, especially right here. When you look at the back of the packaging and you see the yellow effect inside of that face sculpt, which is more like what I would love to have seen with this Dormammu build. And next we have Arcade with his two different head sculpts, one with short hair, one with long hair, and his cane. He also has those platform shoes on, his nice white suit, and that bow tie. And there's the back of that package. Next, they showed us off for the first time the Victor Von Doom, or the Von Doom in the white figure, holding up Thanos' spine and skull. So what do you guys think about this? Yeah, it looks like the comics. Um, but I kind of would have rather had the regular white release that wasn't really put out back in the day in the Epic Heroes collection. I don't know. This is pretty cool, though. There's the front and the back of that package. Next we have the hood figure, reusing that Stanley body, I believe. There he is with the hood on, the effects coming out of the guns, screaming head. Wouldn't mind having another head sculpt with like the demon body or demon head coming out of it. There's the back of that package. And what all he comes with. And then we have Lady Deathstrike. Haven't seen her since Toy Biz days. Really great sculpt here. I love the sculpt on this guy, this lady. <laughs> Deathstrike, that is. And all of the mechanical effects, the nails, the sculpting in the legs. Really nice figure. 
kind of wish she would have had an extra head sculpt as well. Notice her packaging is extremely empty. She does come with the torso of Zimanu. And then we have the Red Skull figure shown off for the first time. He does come with the two different head sculpts as well. A gun and the Cosmic Cube. Several hand sculpts and the Zimanu head. And there's the front and back of that package as well. Like I said, this is up for pre-order on the, any kind of site you want. And they also tease us with this sword, which we found out is Excalibur. So what does that mean? Does that mean we're getting an Excalibur team? Or does that just mean we're getting another Captain Britain figure? We will know next time we get a video, I guess. But I would love to see the team. Definitely need to see Rachel and Megan and Kitty in that costume there. So yes, Rectangular was right with his tees, or with his reveals that he had before we had them in hand. So what do you think about this Bring on the Bad Guys wave? Are you excited about it? Is this build a figure what you expected when they said it's going to be something unexpected? Uh, I know a lot of us were thinking maybe uh, Mephisto and his throne as a build a figure. Um, but this is a great build a figure, I agree. But I don't think it's necessarily unexpected in my opinion. And here is what all was revealed at this Fan First Friday. So really cool figures, I guess, overall. And then, like I said, here are the package figures that we got revealed as well, and the sword. So not announced at the Fan First Friday for Marvel was the Wave 2 of these 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Legends retro figures, but they were found in the wild already. So you got your Dale, Daredevil figure for the first time. And Electra for the first time, so those match with each other, I guess. And these were found in Target, by the way. You have your Iceman figure, which will go really well with the Human Torch that they announced a while back. You have another Black Panther figure, so it's the third time we have seen a Black Panther figure. And a third time we have seen an Iron Man figure. And then we have Electro for the second time. So what are you guys thinking about these retro carded figures? Are these what you're looking for? Or do you like these three and three quarter figures? Here they all are on card. Jumping into McFarland Toys, and here is the 12 inch spawn figure, Commando Spawn in package. I know we'd seen this picture on the left here a while back. But here he is with this huge stand and his necroplasm flame effect and his spawn gun as well. There's the side and the back of this figure. And then we got the images of the gold edition or the lunar edition of the Hellbat armor here from the on Toys as well, DC Multiverse. There's the back of the figure with the wings spread, all the sides of the package. And the front and the sides of the figure. The middle one showing the wings down. And here he is in action and closer up. Also with McFarlane Toys, we have the My Hero Academia Izuku Mendoraya in package, 12 inch figure. There's his stand and his flight stand. Got some effects on him on his leg and his arm. All the different angles of him. Jumping into 3-0, we have the Deluxe Transformers WFC Nemesis Prime figure here. Got his giant axe, his gun, his figure stand, multiple hands. Really cool 3-0. And here we have Virtual Con Spring 2021 with Thundar the Barbarian. <clears throat> Hanna Barbarian animation of Ukla the Mook. Princess Ariel and Thundar himself. Also from the Virtual Con 2021, you have the Transformers Grimlock figure. And from Marvel, you have the Deadpool in his bunny pants, Zombie Morbius, and Spider Man 2099. And here are all kinds of other reveals of where things are coming out and what we are getting from this Virtual Con 2021, or Funko. 
From Dragon Ball Z, SH Figure Arts, you got the Goku Eating Scenes set. <clears throat> so here he is with his table, his chairs, all kinds of food to eat, some bottles, chopsticks, fork. Wow. Never seen anything like this, I don't think, in action figures. All those plates and bowls, different face sculpts there as well. And also you have Tamashii Nation 2021, Goku Black Super Cyan Rose from SH Figures. From Spin Masters, you have the Batman Transforming Batcave here. If you want to pause and read up on the specifications on it, you can. This Batman folds out into this Batcave. Wow. And then also you have this RC Batmobile revealed from Spin Masters as well. So NECA teases some more. And this time they're teasing me some more Ash product here with this chainsaw, the shotgun, the axe, the recorder. So we'll be able to see some of these pretty soon here. And also NECA revealed a third Universal Monster with Dracula tease here. So we've already gotten Frankenstein's monster and the mummy. Here's another DC product from NECA with the Batman Arkham Knight prop replica of Nightwing's Escrima stick. From NECA we also had some images of the Rasputin and Genghis Frog 2-pack. It's going to be a Target exclusive of course. So here's the front and the back of the package. And one side of the package. And the other side of the package. And some in-hand -hand images of the frog or some nice images that NECA provided as well. Notice these frogs have the triangle necklaces. The other frogs will have circle necklaces. Got all their weapons. There he is compared to Leatherhead. Compared to Shredder. And compared to Leo. Like I said, here are all the accessories they come with. That one on the top right is a trap for their feet if they get caught in. And there's their weapons. Also from NECA, you saw that this is a four pack with the turtles in disguise. Got happier faces and also other head sculpts as well. And the mask and the pizzas and the skateboard and the weapons. But what we also found out is with the DPCI found at Target that this is going to be $124.99 for this four pack. Wow. Here is another leak from Walmart found on Walmart's site from NECA. Here's a Shredder cartoon action figure that's going to come in this stern pinball crate box set. Not really sure what in the world this is. You got a beanie crank, a t-shirt, a magnet pizza, and a keychain. Also leaked was from Walmart, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze Stealth Super Shredder by NECA. So what's that going to look like? Not 100% sure, but we already know what Super Shredder looks like, and we know that it'll be black, more of a black look to it, I guess. Nick also teasing a new Kenner-inspired Panther alien figure. New Transformers Mini Mates coming from Diamond Select Toys. You got Starscream, Prime, Bumblebee, and Shockwave. From Super 7, we got the Voltron Ultimate figure shown in package here. And also showing that the Thundercats, lion -O and Panthro, and Mumra the Ever-Living living with Mummut went back up for pre-order. So you guys have a chance to get those if you didn't the first time. And then they showed off this image of Prime on his surfboard and explained to us why they gave us a surfboard. You can see this image here from the cartoon where they are surfing. Also from Super 7, we have these six... Army of Darkness action figures or reaction figures, so three and three quarter inch, five points for articulation. 
You have Hero Ash here with his face all beat up, shirt ripped up, and a chainsaw arm. You have Deadite Scout. Got a shield and a spear here for this little bone warrior. You have Medieval Ash with a book, shotgun, his metal hand. Pit Witch, doesn't come with any accessories. Evil Ash with his sword and his bone skull helmet there. And Two-Headed Ash with just the shotgun. So what do you think about these reaction figures? Are you enjoying these little three and three quarter inch figures from Super 7? So jumping into Mezco Toy Fair 2021, which came to us February 19th technically through the 22nd, so it's still ongoing today. First off, they showed us the Krig, the Black Spartan version. Got the different head sculpts here. The movable field poncho with the integrated wire. Got some cool effects that go on his weapons there. His glow in the dark eye. And this is gonna come in the exclusive toy chest along with a Pi Pi figure from the Five Points of Articulation. So here's all the weapons and everything this Black Krieg comes with. And that head sculpt showed off even better. And here is that Pi Pi Five Points of Articulation figure. So he has open hand arms and closed fisted arms. And his can of spinach. Also all kinds of other goodies that come in this box set. I'm not really going to go over them, but I'll flip through it here. Some cards, mini comic, pin set, stickers, bandanas, patch. So here is the day one recap. All that was from the preview day on the, tw on the 19th. So first off, you have the five points particulation, Bill and Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and it also has Rufus as well. And then we have Superman from the Mezco 112th, comic accurate. Then we have Michael Myers from Halloween 2. And we have the Crow 112th figure. Also from Rumble Society, they teased this guy with his beard, not sure who he is yet. We'll find out soon. And you see the Fantastic Four there as well. We'll talk about them later. So they also did a lot of giveaways and everything during this toy con, so that's pretty awesome. So that was day one. Jumping into day two. Day two, first off, revealed the MDS 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface figure the LDD or Living Dead Dolls presents Silent Hill 2 Bubblehead Nurse and a little 14 inch adorable chunky Grubness this Grub action figure here and then from the Conquest of the Planet Apes 1972 movie you have the Caesar and the Gorilla Soldiers 112th scale and then we also have another 112th scale Tiger Stripe Wolverine version 2 figure here. And another Rumble Society member here. I'm not sure what this is going to be either. A tease of some kind of shark looking creature here. And then lastly, on day two, we had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger with the Dragon Dagger. So that was day two recap. And of course, day three is not going to be on this list yet because it is coming out today so we will get to that later on with my other videos go check out my videos on these next we're going to jump into flame toys and hirokara kuri megatron so if you got the optimus prime you gotta have the megatron right check out that weapons case that he has there that's crazy pretty awesome looking next we have from good smile company moderoid my Hero Academia, Bakugo, and Medoya. And guys, I'm probably not pronouncing these names right for these guys. I don't know much about My Hero Academia. But this is pretty cool looking. I like the way that he's got those gauntlets on his wrists. Or 
really awesome looking figures. <clears throat> and then a little tease for the Plundlings phones. And we saw this teased a while back, but from Mafex, here is the boys Billy Butcher figure. First look, Carl Urban playing this guy. From Medicom, got the baby, the gun, the crowbar, and whatever else that other tool is there. Two different head sculpts. And then jumping into Mattel, you have the Mo2 Origins or Master of the Universe Origins. Here's Clamp Champ and Package and some better images of him. Got the different head sculpts and his clamp. And you also have Ram Man. And both these are deluxe figures, so they're going to be a little bit more pricey. Larger card, more accessories that come with them. He's got his two axes and his other head sculpt here. He's got the closed mask. And our first look at Panthor here, Flocked, which will be a Walmart exclusive, I believe. And then also with Mattel, you have the Tiger Stripe Velociraptor coming to the Amber Collection. It's got that articulated claw, like he's tapping it, and the figure stand as well. Don't see this in package yet. From Jurassic World Legacy Collection, you have the Dennis Nedry Gateway Pack official images. This is $29.99 with the Dilophosaurus and the Jeep. That Jeep top does come off. And then from Jazzwares Fortnite, the Legendary Series, Recruit Jonesy. Got the skateboard, the pickaxe, the guns, different head sculpts. There it is in package. And if you want to read up on this, this is coming from Hot Toys. You can pause it here. Star Wars The Mandalorian. We have the Boba Fett tease that came last week. And here are the official images of it. Love that old beat up armor that he had to go hunt for in The Mandalorian. Again, teaser or spoiler warning there from the show if you haven't seen it. Really cool, and we'll see another figure or another version of this later on in the video. Again, if you want to pause and read up on what Hot Toys has to say about this Peter Parker from the Spider Man Far From Home series, got that nice Tom Holland head sculpt, the glasses that Tony Stark gave him. Awesome looking. Hot Toys does some amazing work. Got that upgraded face mask there with the black eyes. And again, read up on this IG-11 from the Star Wars The Mandalorian. He is the Bounty Hunters Guild. Coming from Hot Toys. Mando's sidekick for those first few episodes. He will be missed. Really cool looking figure. And then lastly, teased by Hot Toys, this 1 6 scale, the Mandalorian Bo Katan figure. And after this, we'll go to honorable mentions and the top 10 for the week. Alright, so jumping into the honorable mentions for the week. So first off, for honorable mention, the Star Wars Black Series is re-releasing the Rogue One figures along with a new figure of the pilot, Bodhi Rook. So thanks to Yak Face, we have got that news and some code names for that wave. And then from Super 7 Ultimates, the 7-inch Transformers figures. We already knew about Wave 1 with the Ghost of Starscream, Optimus Prime, G1, Bombshell, and Bonsai Tron from Action Masters. With Wave 2, coming in the summer, we have Megatron G1, Grimlock G1 in his Dino Mode, Bludgeon of the Pretenders, and Trax G1. And then for Wave 3, coming in the fall, they've announced Tarn from IDW, Megatron from G2, 
Alligator Con G1, which I'm assuming is the Optimus Prime as an alligator. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the gator form or the robot form. And then Retgar G1 from the 86 movie. So what do you guys think about these Wave 2 reveals? And also the Wave 3 reveals from Super 7. Does this make you excited for these Ultimates? Especially after we saw what we were getting for the Wave 1. Have you got your pre-orders up? Is this going to be a Wave that is going to keep on going or not? So here we are at the top 10 part of the week. So here are the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. So at number 10 we have from the Jurassic World Amber Collection, the Pteranodon from Mattel. Here he is, a blurry picture and package. So here are those loose images we talked about earlier. So he is definitely our number 10 for the week. Finally getting away from the Raptors. And number nine, we have the Keldor and Origins Cronus figure from Mattel's Master Universe Origins. So this is a leaked image. Of course, it's blurry, but wow, this is a great two-pack. I'm glad we're finally getting something like this. And so this is going to be a Target two-pack, $29.99 each, and it does come with an extra Skeletor head for the Keldor. At number 8 from SH Fig Arts, we have the Golden Armor Wonder Woman figure, Tamashi Nation, from the 1984 movie. We've got a lot of these out there so far from all these different distributors, but I like this one. This one actually has a pretty good face sculpt. I like the body, articulation. Makes Gal Gadot look pretty good here. Got her lasso on her hip there. Got the different head sculpt without the helmet on. Now, I don't know what you guys thought about it in the movie. I didn't really care too much for the armor. I thought it was kind of a, a, a void point, you know? Why did she even need it? She, she lost it so fast. She was already flying through the air. Why did she need these wings right before this scene happened? So, sorry about that. It might have been a spoiler for, for some of you that didn't see the movie yet. There's the way the wings break down. Got the different flight stands for it. It's a pretty cool looking figure. I like the way that she can shield off any kind of attack against her if she folds the wings up like this. And there she is with the lasso in motion. And number seven from Hot Toys, you got the Miles Morales Spider-Man figure from the game. This is the 2020 suit, one six scale figure. Got that nice soft goods, the jacket on him. Got the headset on his head there. Nice shoes as well. And here's your nice little read up on it if you want to pause it and read up on what this is all about from Hot Toys. At number six from DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys. I got a little surprise here. Didn't know this was coming, but the Devastator Superman 2 pack. Had no idea we were getting this. So it's nice that we're actually getting a re release of the Devastator. Kind of early though, maybe, but it's really cool for giving us this 2 pack. From the Dark Knights Metal series. And number five from Hot Toys, you got the Star Wars Mandalorian, the life size, the child figure, or Grogu. Really cool looking. There's your nice scale comparison with the regular figure. So it's crazy what Hot Toys has done with this guy. At number four, Todd McFarlane teasing his new Violator figure, and also the fact that he is getting a Three new Spawn number ones coming this year, probably around summertime. A whole new storylines coming in the Spawn universe, and most likely he's going to spin off and do figures. So that is some awesome news for Spawn and McFarlane Toys. Wow. Number three, Marvel Legends. We already talked about them. Had the Fan First Friday and the Zimanu build a figure. I always love to get Hulk villains, and here is a Hulk villain that I love. I know this is reusing that Sasquatch Build-A-Figure. Of course, Wendigo as well. They changed out the hands and the feet and the head and gave him that belt. It's a pretty good reuse of the body. And you can see that technology is built into his hand there and those red eyes. And number two from Hot Toys, the deluxe Boba Fett figure from The Mandalorian. Look at this awesome head sculpt they got on this guy. It looks like a just 
just a perfect replica of the actor himself. Got the soft goods clothes, got his guns, both outfits. Wow, Hot Toys is killing it with their toys. And again, if you want to pause it and read up on what Hot Toys has written up for this Boba Fett. Awesome. And at number one for Mezco Toys and their Mezco Toys Fair 2021, the Fantastic Four. Wow. Especially the Thing figure. Wow. That looks amazing. But if this, I don't know how they're going to release this, if they're going to be individually or a four pack. But Mezco killed it with this reveal. So, guys, what do y'all think about this top 10 list for the week? Mentions? Would you guys have put one of the other ones on this list? Did you enjoy this week's reveals? Let me know in the comments. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the top 10 best toy reveals of the week. Leave me any kind of comments that you want. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.